why has Boeing set up this? Why have they taken a 739 Max Airbus of Alaska and modified these changes in the front? What is the reason for this? Yeah, fantastic uh, question. Boeing, uh, this is a Boeing program, called Eco Demonstrator. Uh, we've been flight testing aircraft under the Eco Demonstrator banner for almost a decade. This is our eighth Eco Demonstrator. And really, our goal uh, is to accelerate innovative and sustainable technologies onto our Boeing's products and services. One of the ways we do that is by taking technologies out of the lab and installing them on a real flying airplane to accelerate our learning. Uh, and then we do that in partnership um, with suppliers, with airline customers like Alaska, with universities uh, and government agencies uh, to, to explore those technologies, share the learnings, and, and ultimately bring some of those products to market. So this is a flight test airplane. We have about 25 technologies on board. Uh, most of which have a sustainability focus, either making the airplane quieter, uh, cleaner, safer, <laughs> more fuel efficient, uh, reducing carbon emissions. Uh, yeah, and, and Teddy, in fact, is one of our flight test engineers. So he flies on the part uh, with the flight tests. Um, he sits in one of these flight test engineering stations right, and monitors the data in real time. Like, I see this is a replication of the cockpit, is that correct? Yeah, the, yeah, the flaps of the max and, uh, uh, and the navigation uh, system as well, right? Yeah. Uh, during a flight test, uh, the engineer could set it up however they needed to oh, okay. show uh, the data that's coming in or craft or something or a uh, Okay, okay, so if you do real time tests during the test flights, is that correct? Correct. Got it. And this section is a normal uh, Alaska aircraft uh, cabin, is it correct? Uh, no, not entirely. Uh, it, it is uh, fairly typical of a passenger yeah. cabin. It's not yet in an Alaska configuration. Oh, okay. So these are not Alaska seats. Right, got it. Uh, uh, we actually do have two technologies installed back here. Uh huh. Uh, one is our low profile mini collision lights, uh, which is in an orange window plug right back here. It's the red flashing light exactly. you can see from outside. I was about to ask you the next question what is that? Yes, okay. So it's lower profile than the existing production mini collision lights. Fantastic. Uh, and, and that has, it provides us two benefits one, it's less drag on the airplane, uh, and then two, the design allows the electronics to come further inside the fuselage uh, into a more hospitable operating environment, right. uh, which makes the light more reliable. So that is as well one testing parameter, is that correct? The one that you have installed on the side? Yes, that's one of our technologies. Testing, yeah. Uh, and the other technology we have is a leap back into the airplane. Uh -huh. uh, in the aft section seats, there are five recycled carbon fiber sidewalls installed. Uh, we'll see that. Okay. Those, those sidewalls are made from uh, carbon fiber that was scrapped from our 787 and 877 9 factories. Right. Uh, we take that scrap, we partner with the UK company called Gen 2 Carbon uh -huh. uh, to create this material that we can form into parts like sidewalls. And in this case, those sidewalls are about 20% lighter than current production standards. So that's quite a few amount of testing that's going on here before we say them in action in, in, right. in, in reality. Yes, yes, exactly. Uh, yes, we do extensive testing on these products. Uh, it's, uh, eventually ensure that they meet regulatory exactly. requirements. Right. Uh, and then eventually you'll see some of these products uh, or some in the of these market. technologies in the market. In the market. Uh, exactly. On our future airplanes, possibly retrofit onto existing airplanes. Yes. Brilliant. Thank you so yes. much. Yes, my pleasure. Cheers. All right. Cheers. Great. Cheers.